Major developers, including Barrett and Reed Row, an investment firms ask leasehold residents to pay thousands of pounds and stick to scores of onerous rules to buy the freeholds on their properties. In some cases, residents who sign the deals fear they will have to seek permission from the developer or the former freeholder and pay a fee if they want to redecorate their homes or install a shed or conservatory. They have been told by solicitors that they could face charges of up to £100 to remortgage. Other freehold contracts appear to bar owners from parking a caravan on their drive or removing shrubs from their gardens. But legal experts warn that the contracts create a huge gray area of potential restrictions that could put off future buyers. The hidden catches are the latest in a line of ripoffs affecting leasehold homeowners. Three years ago, Money Mail revealed that builders were increasingly selling houses as leasehold, often under government schemes to help first time buyers as a money spinning ploy. Historically, only flats were leasehold.But figures show about 1.4 million houses have now been sold on these terms. They must pay an annual fee, known as the ground rent. This was traditionally a nominal sum of £10 a year, but can now range from £150 to £350. With many newer homes, the ground rents double every decade, while some go up with retail price index, RPI, inflation. Meanwhile, the land, known as the freehold, is typically owned by the building firm and often sold on to an investment firm once the buyer moves in. The investment company then collects the ground rents from property owners, giving it a steady income stream. This month the government banned sales of new leasehold houses. Communities Secretary Sajid Javid has described selling houses as leaseholds as a feudal practice which is unnecessary, involves unjustifiable charges and onerous ground rent terms, and adds further costs to overstretched house buyers. Existing leaseholders fear they could be trapped in their homes if buyers avoid leaseholds in future. Some feel their only hope is to buy the freehold to stop paying ground rent. For a new build, this usually involves handing over between £5,000 and £12,000. Lawyers say there may be no way of cancelling these contracts once they are signed. And if homeowners break the terms, experts believe developers could sue them. The restrictions can be avoided by purchasing the freehold through a formal legal route instead of accepting the developer's contract. But this involves instructing a solicitor to go through the first tier property tribunal, which can be time consuming and costly. Nicola Baker hoped her three-bedroom leasehold home on a new estate in Heighton, Liverpool, would provide security for her 10-year-old son Dylan, who has severe learning difficulties. The 31-year-old bought the £130,000 house in 2016 through the government's help to buy scheme with her husband David. Later, they discovered Keepmit had sold it to another company, Ground Rent Estates 3. The bakers and their neighbors became concerned and asked to buy the freeholds. Keepmit, acting as a facilitator, offered to sell them at £3,750 each. 
but solicitors who have seen the contract say the residents may have to ask the former freeholder for permission to make internal non-structural alteration. It's feared this means they would be charged for fitting a new kitchen or bathroom, or even redecorating. Solicitors say the contracts appear to prevent homeowners from removing any shrubs planted in the garden. They also appear to bar residents from running a business from their homes. Nicola says, it is horrible. We had hoped that Dylan would be able to have the house when we passed away, but he is mentally disabled and there is no way he can stick to these rules. He says, it has come to our attention that residents have been concerned by various restrictive covenants in the legal transfer. In an attempt to resolve this issue, we have asked the freeholder to revisit the documentation. A spokesman for Ground Rent Estates 3 says that it does not intend to take any interest following any freehold transfer to leaseholders and that leaseholders should contact it about any concerns. Joy and Lee Dickinson are desperate to buy the freehold of their home on a new build estate near Preston, Lancashire, because their developer Redrow has warned that it plans to sell it on. The couple bought the four-bedroom detached property for £400,000 in 2015 because it was close to Joy's job as a health and safety advisor. Now they fear they will never be able to sell. Last year, Redro offered to sell the freehold for £9,100. But the documents say the couple will have to pay £100 for any change to their mortgage. The contract appears to bar them from altering their property and they must also commit to cleaning the windows every four years. It's left the couple fearing that, if these rules remain in place, they could struggle to attract buyers. MoneyMail has also seen paperwork in which developer Barrett offers to sell the freehold of a house to the leaseholder for £5,000, but for the avoidance of doubt the buyer must stick to all rules of the lease, bar paying ground rent and re-mortgage fees. These terms include seeking permission to put up a conservatory or an extension. The leaseholder must pay a fee for seeking permission and there is no refund if the request is turned down. She must also pay maintenance fees every year and agree not to park a caravan on her driveway. Mary Knowles, partner at Leasehold Law, says freehold buyers need to be very cautious about the terms they are offered. While one might expect that purchasing the freehold would remove all onerous clauses, all too often these clauses are retained in the small print. We've seen many instances where the homeowner still needs to get permission for anything from building a conservatory to changing the carpets and even installing blinds on the windows. Although the government has said that it will make the process of purchasing a freehold easier, faster and cheaper, at present it is very difficult to get out of a contract once it has been signed. The worst case scenario is that homeowners might end up with a property that is unsellable due to the persistence of onerous clauses and permissions. Katie Kendrick, founder of the National Leasehold Campaign, says this seems to be a new scandal. People are panicking and buying the freeholds through these deals. In reality, they might be worse off than before. A spokesman for the Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government says, to help leaseholders we will work with the Law Commission to make it cheaper and easier for them to buy their freehold or extend their lease, and we will provide comprehensive information on the various routes to redress for those consumers with onerous terms. 
a Barrett development spokesman says, covenants generally cover issues we have historically received complaints about from residents. They are designed to benefit all those living on the development, regardless of tenure. These are in place to protect all homeowners on a development and to safeguard the value of everyone's home.